guys, Red Designs here, and we've got a tutorial again today. Uh, I haven't done one in a while, but I thought that I've been really messing around with disintegr you know, disintegrating effects and, you know, uh, some different effects for explosion and stuff like that and ripping effects. And, you know, I thought I'd do a really cool uh, tutorial on them that I've been uh, kind of messing with. So I, I know a lot of people saw some posters I've been putting up, and I've been using this effect a lot, and the reason is is because... Uh, just the effect looks so great with a lot of things that you do, and you know you can really tie it into a, a million different types of uh, <clears throat> artwork. Um, but so for people that don't know what I'm going to be doing this on, it's, it's basically, I mean, it, it's kind of a disintegration effect, um, and it's around as you guys can see the head and you know where my mouse is, you know how everything kind of just you know goes into like a particle or or a uh, you know, starts disintegrating into little, you know, uh, particles or stuff like that, or little, like, dust and things like that. And I'm going to show you to do that. Now, the first thing you're going to need is, is, of course, a stock of some sort. Um, I'm going to use this one that I have. Uh, I just penciled it real quick. But um, you can use it, on, you can do this effect on anything. I mean, literally, you know, anything that's solid and, and kind of has, a, has its own, like, you know, stability and... <clears throat> um, sharpness and you know of course is bold you don't want to do it on something that's already kind of opaque or whatever or, or transparent shall I say um, <clears throat> so here's kind of I'm just going to show you what we're going to need to do to start and uh, so first thing you're going to want to do is of course I like to add some sort of you know if there is no background to whatever you're doing uh, add one will help a lot uh, if not, and you're already on like some sort of canvas, you're good. But um, what I always do is, is, is you're going to need, of course, this should be its own layer. Um, whatever you cut out or whatever you're using, make sure that you already have a layer. And duplicate it twice. Now, the reason I say you're going to have three different copies, or two copies and one original, is because you're, you're going to, you know, untick the eye on your original, and we're only going to use these two. The reason we have this is just in case you screw up with a layer mask, or just in case you screw up a layer and you can't revert, we still have an original here. Now, there are many ways that you can do this. Um, I have found, hold on, the easiest way for me is using a, a certain effect. But what we're going to do is we're going to take our, I guess in this situation, our bottom uh, stock part, and we're going to go to Filter, Liquify. <clears throat> and what liquify does is it literally it does what it says. It, it kind of liquefies or here I'll show you and it it uh, makes you almost like stretch everything. And that's exactly what we need and that's exactly what we're gonna do. So I usually like to take a brush around 180 to 200 and you just kind of pull this all the way back. And the reason we're doing this is because this is where the particles and everything's gonna go, you know, into, shall I say. And, you know, pull it back as far as you want it to disintegrate to. Um, I would definitely suggest really pulling this as far back as you can to where it doesn't look so distorted to where you don't know what's going on. So, yeah, definitely kind of eye it and, you know, kind of do something to this extent. And once you get that, you just hit OK, and that's going to be there. Um, and here's where the masks come in. Very simple. So we're, we have our little liquify layer, and we're going to just click on this little uh, button near the uh, FX button, right next to it, on the right, and that's going to make a layer mask for people that don't know. And then you're going to hit on the layer mask, while the layer mask is selected, Command-I to inverse it. Now, if you have it on a white, that means you erase it. If you hit it on a black, it's hidden, or you can paint on it. Now on the top layer, we're just going to add a white one just to get the effect away. Now there's many different ways you can do this um, for many different types of styles. Um, I'm going to show you one that I've been working on trying to perfect, but the one that I, uh, I've i seen a lot of is the uh, paint splatter ones, which you just take a splatter brush and you kind of just, uh, you know, you, you kind of paint on um, using your brush, you're going to just kind of paint on the layer mask. Um, and you're going to want to, you know, of course, switch up your, your brush a little bit every once in a while. Uh, and 
you know, that's kind of the effect that you're going to get with that. And, you know, it's cool and stuff, but not, not really for me. Uh, I like more of a disintegration effect. Um, and here's exactly why. You can delete the layer mask and then kind of remake a new one if you don't like it. Um, so, you know, of course, you can do these cool little effects here with, like, you know, there's that one. You, a million different ways you can do it, depending on the brush. depends on what you want. Um, I, you know, if you're uh, taking the uh, example I showed you earlier, I use these brushes, which are uh, particle brushes. And they, they kind of, I don't know, they just, they give an essence to it that literally makes it look like that's how it should look. And it just, it you know, it's not too much, not too little, and it looks great, and I love it. But, um, you know, it's really just kind of taste for you, um, if you like uh, more of a grungy feel, you're going to want um, the this type of brush. Uh, if not, then you're going to want to go to something else, but that's exactly, you know, what I'm, I'm going to show you something else as well. Now, I already have this brush made. Uh, you can make just a regular square brush, not too hard, um, not hard. And what we're going to do here is we're going to move this down to about 25. Um, and of course we're going to take the eraser and make the exact same thing. So you're going to take your eraser, go down to your square, 25, and that is exactly what we're going to do. So now on our brush we're going to go into our little brushes uh, tab on the right, and we're going to click Shape Dynamics, <clears throat> Size Jitter, and Angle Jitter. What the Angle Jitter does is, of course, it changes it every time you click. Now, spacing, we're going to make the spacing probably around 324%, and the reason that is is because if you just, if you paint like that, it kind of gives a nice line. Um, maybe actually even a little bit more. For people, that's a little. That's a little bit better. And I'm actually gonna probably. I'm gonna bump up this size a little bit. Bump it up to about 40. Yeah, that's a little bit better. That's exactly what I'm looking forward to. And we're gonna make sure that this is these uh, things are at the exact same shape. Dynamics, size jitter, angle jitter, around 400. Four. Do 403, and that's fine. And that is exactly what we're going to do. So, for people that don't know, I'm going to delete this layer mask once again. Um, and we're going to start here. Now, the best way to do it to get an accurate look, go to 100%. And what we're going to do here is we're not going to go on top of him, we're going to go on an outline. And we're kind of just going to keep clicking and non-clicking and, you know, kind of adding them in certain areas that we want. We're going to outline them once and then we're kind of just going to add these little squares in areas that, you know, would be kind of cool. Um, add them kind of around here. You know, and you're just going to want to kind of add your squares around in different areas and this is exactly how you get a really cool effect. Now of course a lot of people were probably thinking hey if this just doesn't even look like it's disintegrating well I'm going to show you how. Um, we're going to add the erasers now. Hold on I'm just going to add a few more little uh, additives here. And this is exactly what I'm wanting. This is actually looking really cool. So now we're going to click on our white layers, our uh, layer mask, and we're going to take our eraser tool, and we're going, don't be afraid to do this, erase into him. Erase right into your stock, or whatever it is, erase right into him. And this is going to give us the, the illusion of, you know, that he actually is being... Uh, disintegrated in, in, I guess, squares or whatever. And this is like for people that don't really have many brushes or, you know, want to try something new with like effects. Uh, you know, if you have grunge brushes, of course, or, you know, other types of stuff like that, definitely do that. Um, so if we go back to about 50, 
it kind of looks like he's disintegrating. Really cool effect. Now, to add a little bit more, you know, spice to it, of course, or whatever you want, you know, to call it, I usually take my particle brushes and I'm going to add a little more to it just because, you know, I want to give it the complete illusion that it is being completely revealed that it is, you know, uh, he is quote unquote uh, disintegrating. My mouse just froze for a second, so I'm very sorry. But yeah, it's a really cool effect. Um, I've seen it on a million posters and band posters. Sorry about that. And um, seen it on like uh, a bunch of uh, uh, sports ads and stuff like that. And it happens to be something that is is relatively um, you know, new, and I, I don't see many people doing it, so I thought, why not capitalize on it? So, yeah. Um, now, on your racing, you don't want, and this is exactly what you don't want, I did it, you don't want to erase too much into him. The uh, reason is because it'll get the effect that he's completely being ripped off, and you don't want that. Uh, you want to get an effect to where, you know, it's kind of like a start. And this is exactly what I'm kind of doing. You just kind of little specs... Right, kind of into there, and that is, and that is the, uh, that is the you know the square one. I mean, the square is really cool. I think it just kind of adds more to it. Um, another thing is, if you duplicate your main, of course, always good to have your main layer. Put it all the way on top, filter, blur, motion blur, and kind of go the exact same direction that the actual disintegration is going. So, about an eleven degree angle. Take a uh, soft brush eraser, the eraser, wow, fail, uh, about 308 pixels, and we're just going to erase here, um, kind of erase like that, and we're going to just lower the opacity to about 50%, and that is exactly how you get the effect. Uh, you can actually, for this one, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this a lot higher just because it looks a lot cooler that way. And that is how you get this effect. It is the coolest, simplest effect, all done in Photoshop. You don't need any downloads, you don't need anything. This is just the most simple or simplistic effect that I know of um, that are really nice on posters and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I did it um, on, a, on a few other posters I've done for just, you know, websites and stuff like that. So you might uh, come across one, I highly doubt it, but <laughs> you know, if you do, it might be made by me, it probably isn't, but, um, yeah, this is a really cool effect, and, you know, of course, it's not anything uh, out of the ordinary, and I can't wait to see what you guys can do with it, because I know there's some crazy stuff you can do with this effect, and uh, this is just, you know, one, it's a very, very slim <coughs> uh, preview of what, you know, I've seen on the internet, it's unreal, but uh, thank you guys for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, um, I mean, we are literally pushing close to 50k, guys, and uh, this is the push. This is it. And once I hit 50k, man, that pack is going to be yours. So I hope you guys really enjoy it, too, and I really hope that the pack is uh, is what you guys wanted. So it would be awesome for you guys to uh, like this video, check, you know, rate, comment, anything you possibly can to support this. Um, if you guys want to see some more tutorials, leave some comments on what I should be doing tutorial wise what you guys want to learn that is always great and uh, you guys know my social links so anytime you need anything from me check uh, out the social links and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed once again been rated deuces what's going on guys rated here check out my cell file link I saw all my cool graphics packs on there really good price they're awesome and they are pretty much using all the designs that I have uh, done on on YouTube and everywhere so check them out